choose the Netflix ending, you don't know if your dad hid the teddy or you were the one who made your mum late. Oh yeah, because either way it's the dad's fault because he hides the teddy because you see him take the teddy from him. Exactly. And then he's looking for the teddy. So if the dad hadn't taken it, then maybe the mum would still be alive. Exactly, and I think the mum's quite an important character because she... You don't see her much, and you kind of think that Colin, not Colin, not the eyebrows kid. Oh my god. You, you kind of think that, uh, you'd hope Stefan is a more loving person if his mum was still around. Yeah. Or a more emotional person. He might be more he's happy. Kind of, he's kind of dead inside. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Go on. He's kind of like, if you ask him a simple question, he'll give you a really blunt answer. Or he won't answer you at all. It's like with the dad when he was carrying up the... Yeah, but it depends who he's speaking to. Yeah, but the... When he's at the work... No, I mean with his dad. He's oh, with really blunt with, yeah, yeah, with him yeah, and like he doesn't talk to him. Because when he was carrying up the DVD player or the VHS player, the dad was yeah. like, oh, are you going for a movie night? And he just walked straight past him. Yeah, he yeah, didn't yeah, say yeah. anything. He just walked past him and went to his room. Because he had a mission. He had to he watch was, that. He was on a par. Davies. Ah, he was on a par. So that made no sense. It did. Oh, it did. Triggered. <laughs> well, we can move on a little bit in the story. And we can talk. Actually, let's go back to where I said about you find the safe and you see that if you type in PAX, uh, PAX. What does PAX sound teddy. for? Because you have PA the PAC, PAC which is program and control. We'll get to that. The PAX, Ooh, okay. PAX monster is the, uh, the lion that he keeps drawing and seeing. Oh, and that's then cool. that's what I was going to move on to because we said about the safe and the teddy bean and it. Well, in another timeline, if you type in P A C, that's all I P did. dot A dot C, which is program which and control. Learn, well, yeah, which you learn from Colin and in his little rant while she do LSD <laughs> about uh, program and control, which is pack. After you type in P A C, you go into the safe. You go into the safe and you find files and test tubes and you start to figure out that your dad has been monitoring you as you grow up and okay. testing things your on you. every movement. It's a bit like the Truman Show, that bit. Literally, yeah, because you're like zooming outwards yeah. of that room and the room is your bedroom, but, but it's, it's like a, a room set. inside of a room. It's like, yeah, it's like a, big a set, set inside of a room. Wouldn't you notice that though? If you're walking out of your bedroom and see a load of people walking with yeah, coffee, it's like, morning. He's on drugs. His dad might be giving him drugs and making him feel oh, like crap. it's his reality, isn't it? Because I was yeah, thinking, but... when I saw that bit, when he was walking out of the room that has another big room, wouldn't he have to go through like three different doors and pass people at the tables with like, not scripts, but You're writing stuff kid. down? He's a but, like, kid. even when he's older, he'd be like, this is so a bit weird. Question it, yeah, but, but how much do you think about how your childhood was? I think about my childhood a lot. <laughs> but anyway, he, he could be giving drugs. True, because doesn't he not remember when his dad was taking the teddy and everything? Like he exactly, he doesn't yeah. clock it. He doesn't remember. It. Exactly. And another thing is, is the mum situation. The mum doesn't die in that one. No, she she just walks it's, away. It's a test. To see the, what he would do. Yeah, the, the test is if he stay and find Teddy. And he did. He'll go with mum, and he stays and finds Teddy, and mum walks out of the room. But she doesn't walk out of the room. No, she walks, she walks out, out of, of his set. room. Yeah, she walks out of the set of his room. And then she goes to the other... So do you reckon she's watching him as well? So uh, in that timeline, she doesn't die. So uh, it kind of makes you question how many timelines she does die in and how many she doesn't. I reckon there's like two that she doesn't die and two mm. that she does. Because yeah. that means they would have had to stage the train track... Train track? The train crash as well. But, but they didn't. Because no, but in that died. reality, because... But she didn't die though. No, I know. And she doesn't leave to get the train because it's just. No, I mean they would have had to her. tell him. They would yeah. have had to tell him that she died in a train. Tra Good point. I can't speak in a train crash, yeah. rather than saying, "Yeah, she's not coming back." She got angry that you wanted your teddy over her. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going with my own with teddy. You want? Well, my teddy. Now for Caitlin's favorite part and my favorite part. <gasps> Colin. Let's talk about the eyebrows, kid. I love Colin. Colin is. Colin is a great character. <laughs> the only thing you got attached to was his Velcro eyebrows. Yeah, the only reason I like Colin is eyebrows. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> oh no, let's get down to business. Right, this right. Colin is a very strange character. He's iconic. He's iconic, but if you think about it, the way you're watching it on a TV, right? Right. He knows what's happening. He even says, like, nothing matters, you're being monitored, by the way. Exactly. Have a good life, see you later. Exactly. He, he knows what's going on. Like I said, he's woke. He, kno- <laughs> he knows what's going on. The eyebrows on. kid is woke. He's trying to convince Stefan to think how he thinks. Yeah. And like... With the LSD. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You sh- One you of showed the parts him. is you... <laughs> you showed him the great ways. Great meme right here. When your dad tells you that you're going out for lunch, but he actually takes you to your therapist. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't even explained that bit. That anyway. makes zero sense. There's basically, you should you should probably know if you've seen it. Stefan's dad offers to take you for lunch, and you fall asleep in the car, and you wake up at your therapist. But you have a. But I reckon the dad drugged him because he would have been like, "Why are we going this way? Like the pub is that way." He's doing the yeah. game. Once you wake up and you are asked why you're at your therapist, you get um, given a choice. Okay. Go in, go into the therapist, or you see Colin in the uh, background, and you can go catch up to Colin. So if you go follow Colin, you catch up to him. And he asks what you're doing today, and then he offers to take you to your, his house. Which he does. Which is the first meeting Ooh. you find of Kitty and Pearl. And Pearl, but Pearl is a baby. Yeah, Pearl is a baby. Kitty just looks like the Mad Hatter. She does. And Colin is just the eyebrows kid. <laughs> so. Maybe that's why they got together. Her mad hair for his lack of eyebrows. His lack of eyebrows. They're really thin. Are you looking it up? What are you doing? <laughs> no. Um, yes. His eyebrows are really thin. His eyebrows are iconic thin. Can eyebrows. we get off the topic of his eyebrows? Like, everything we talk about <laughs> is his eyebrows. <laughs> They'll be listening back to this. It's just going to be the eyebrows. Anyway. This is a mess. You go with him to his apartment. You go sit in his living room. And you talk. And then he offers you a joint. And you smoke Which the joint. Which you take it. Yep. yep. And then... You don't get a choice. You just get given it. He, no, you do get to say yes or no. But either way, he'd probably still give it to you. No, no, no. You don't get a choice to smoke the joint. I got yes or no. no oh, no. That was for the yeah, LSD. Yeah. Then he offers you LSD. And with the lion on it. With the lion. It but has the lion, the lion on it. The, the pack. Pack. Smoke That's so. it. So... After you click a yes or no, it doesn't really matter. If you, you get it if anyway. If you press no and you decline the LSD, Can Colin I? takes the LSD in front of you. Then when you're looking at painting, he slips it in your tea. Put the tea forward and be like, don't forget your tea. Yeah. And then if you're he like, drops oh. it in his tea and then yeah. just gives the tea to him. So anyway, Stefan is now drugged and on LSD. <laughs> Colin and Stefan are <laughs> tripping. They are tripping balls because... Uh, the mood changes so much in this scene. He kind of just goes, everything turns happy and light. It's the first time you see him properly smile. At the painting, and he's, he's high. Blowing, he's blowing at this painting really that's moving. So it's <gasps> yeah, around. he's like blowing at it. And it's then just obviously you sit back down and Colin tells you about the uh, Pac-Man con- uh, Pac- program and control thing. What Pac-Man stands for. He talks really quickly in that he bit. He does, yeah. And Stefan is just not paying attention. He's, He's just like, yeah, balls. okay. This painting's and really cool. It's that's moving. W- that's why I say, eyebrows kid is woke. <laughs> why are you covering your mic when you say that? Because when I say woke, woke makes it better. Gives it more emphasis. Emphasism. Em- We're going off topic again. We're not in English, Cameron. Listen, all right. No. He has a rant about Pac-Man. Then you stand up and grab his face because his eyes are coming out of his head and oh he my looks God. like a reptilian. Because he, he takes his glasses yeah. off and, and then his eyes are like how everything doesn't 3D. matter and there's, there's, there's no reality. And That'd be kind of messed matters. with your head though, doesn't it? Because like nothing matters and everyone's just sitting there like, cool, okay. It's so a long story short, you go out onto the balcony and you get another choice and it's quite a crucial des- decision you have to make. I did both. But only one decision leads to the next part and I wonder what you can... I wonder what you think it is. Putting two and two together. People on a balcony probably so involves anyway, jumping. If you choose Stefan to jump off of the balcony, it's just an abrupt ending and you start again from the balcony. No, it shows you how his game did now. Like, this game was terrible. It was good at the beginning, but then he died and people took it, took over and yeah, yeah, ruined exactly. it. Exactly, it's just an abrupt ending. And then it goes nothing. back to the balcony. So that way, yeah, then you get a choice to start over or go back to the balcony. And then if you make... 
Colin, jump off. He goes. Let me get this right. Let me get this right. Should I play it? No, you will not play it. I will remember this. <laughs> oh, there he goes. He goes. Fair enough. See you around. <laughs> and just jumps off the, the balcony. He does this so elegantly. He's like, all right, see you later. Because when when Stefan jumps off, he's like shaking and scared, and then just tripping major balls and jumps off. And then Colin just goes, all right, fair enough. No, because Colin's like, Colin's like, well, I'll see you later anyway, because exactly, none of this yeah, matters. Yeah. So I'm going to come back anyway. But then he's like, all right, see you later, and just jumps off and doesn't come back, depending on what timeline you choose. Ah, if you finish the game without Pathway, starting back, he won't come back. But if you do a reset throughout the, uh, after that, he, wa- he will come back, and you'll uh, shake his hand in a recap, and he goes, told you I'll see you around. Oh yeah, because before that, when you restart after you like something happens, you go back and he's like, "I've seen you before," and he's like, "No, you haven't." Yeah, but then he's on, like, on, on the "This happened to your computer. That happened." And you, he's like, "How do you know that?" And he's like, "Because I've seen you before. Yeah, I know who you are." He doesn't say that, but you know. I that. know you, Colin. I know you, eyebrows kid. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's um, if you choose to say yes to join them at Tugsoft at the start. You see him, and he pats your shoulder and goes, wrong path, mate. Try you again. Start, you start the path again. New timeline. Anyway, this time, when you first before. see him working on his game, you go to shake his hand, and he goes, have we met before? And you as Stefan go, no. And he goes, right. he plays like, his oh, game, cool. his game crashes, and Stefan tells him why his game crashes. Which is what Colin told him in the first yeah, time exactly. he played it. He says it before Colin can say it. And Colin's like, quite, what? Uh, how do you know this? This happens quite a lot in the uh, in the film. It's, it's, it's quite... A, it messes with your head. It does. The timelines in this are crazy. Which I think the last point... But I it's want interesting. To to, the last point I want to get to is the Netflix ending. <gasps> yes. Well, one of my personal favourite endings. I like the fight scene. The fight scene. If you choose to fight your therapist in the Netflix... Uh, if you try to fight the... Uh, therapist you have a full-on action fight scene Fucking kill bill dad storms in and grabs you by the throat and pins you up on the wall and you can, you can either karate chop him or kick him in the balls yeah, yeah that's it and then he starts dragging you out of the thing and he has a massive run about his uh <gasps> the laugh the future. yeah the love like crazy laugh we are right his friend from the future cameron yeah God. we are we are his friend from the <gasps> yeah <laughs> 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 what was that? It was kind of a sarcastic <clears throat> interpretation of his laugh, and I don't want to do it. His laugh, like. his voice is really low until he does that yeah, laugh. Yeah, his like laugh is just so high pitched. It's brilliant. Yeah, but again, another if you iconic not part. Not to fight your therapist, you, you choose to jump out jump the window, out. and this is the most messed up ending. It's I've, funny. I've it's not funny. It's it quite is. Scary. It's the way that he's like, "What? Why won't this window open?" And she's like, "Are you good?" And he's like, See, I want yeah, to uh, jump out. zooms out. No, but he's like, why won't you let me jump out this window? <laughs> let it's, me it's jump out. The first floor. He's only trying to get out of the first floor of the building, is it? Then why does the reason the why it's so, like, messed up is he goes to open this window, which is clearly a window next to him, but it's not a window. And then the shot pans out, and it's him and a set, and everyone goes, cut. And then Stefan is just sitting there like, what's going on? They call and him then Mike. the director comes up to him, and he and she's like, are you okay then, Mike? Do you need do you need five minutes? But Stefan's like, no, my name's Stefan. Yeah, it's not like, Mike. No, no, not Mike. Stefan. And then she's he's like, no, who Mike. He is. And then she's like, you you wasn't supposed to jump out of that window, yeah? You? You, you were supposed to uh, fight the lady. And then he was like, my name is Stefan, and not I'm Mike. I'm seeing my therapist. Yeah. <laughs> he's got to uh, kind of reevaluate everything. Reevaluate, reevaluating everything. He's like, no, I'm exactly. Stefan. I just wanted to come see my therapist, and he's just like kill billing me. <laughs> I think that is quite a messed up ending. It's quite scary. It's the way that his dad's the director as well. Exactly. His yeah. dad's sitting in the director chair by the yeah. camera. Is it's, it's crazy. It's good though. Makes and you think. Like the I real said, endings Truman you can Show. Get are all the uh, well, the only endings that you get five stars rating on your game is if you end up in jail by killing your dad. There's no way your dad can survive. There is no chart. Char- there is no timeline. He survived. That's sad. <laughs> In every <laughs> timeline that the game gets five stars, he dies. There's no way your dad can survive and see the game. You have to end up in jail. Oh, yeah. Because the, the game, 
fails when his dad's alive, yeah. but as soon as his dad dies, the game's like, yeah, it's, this it's is not really good. That's a bad luck, John. It's like this. <laughs> This game is perfect, like we love it, but as soon as the dad dies, he's like, Wow, this game is incredible. But when he's alive, he's they're like, This game's a piece of crap. Get rid of it. Yeah. Take it off shelves. We yeah, don't want this. He just needs to be alone. Maybe that's why he ends up in jail. That's what he tries to do. He tries to get his dad to leave him alone. The only way he, way he can do that is kill him. And then I think at the end Smash of Smash him around the hip with an ashtray. It's good. Because you know when we say about Colony and Woke. I mean, he knows <laughs> that he's kid. in this n- non-existent reality. Yeah, right? he know he in knows every about ending it. That you get he knows when you end there. up in jail. You watch the TV and the review, and because obviously you're in jail now, and they're given a really bad review, and they've got people in from the company. <laughs> Colin is always there in the interview, and he always says, well, the interviewer always says, if you could speak to Stefan now, what would you say? And Colin always says, you know what to do. Try again, mate. 